Hey guys, this is Tapin here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today one, um, a very simple interview question I'm going to cover that we have to total, we have to find out total number of vowels within a Java string using three things like typical Java, Java 8 and uh, a Google Guava library also we can use that. So we know that uh, vowels means we are talking about in a particular string, A, E, I, O, U is available or not. So we know that vowels and consonants, but uh, we are talking about today only vowels. So there are various ways of doing it. And I know that majority of the people, they know the answer how to solve it. But uh, how exactly you can be different at a time of interview, that matters a lot. So let's solve it. Okay. So I'm having this main method. So let's do with the first typical Java way. So first exactly what exactly I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a method which will return a boolean to me. And I simply say that, okay, this is a, a vowel or not. And uh, I simply say that, give me that particular character. Let's see character T, I'm passing it. And I simply say that, okay, fine. Then you return if T is equal to equal to, and we know that, okay, there are five vowels are there, A, E, I, O, U. So I simply start comparing, uh, comparing with A, E, I, O, U with OR operator. So I'll do one thing. Uh, I'll write it like this five times two three four five okay and uh, this is E this is for I this is for O and this is for U so we know now A E I O U is available and the same thing I'll be doing for copy and uh, for capital letters also Okay, so capital A, capital E, capital I, capital O, and then I'll be writing this capital U because uh, both we have to consider uppercase and lowercase. So if this condition, uh, all these conditions, either of them is condition uh, matched, it will return true or false. Now it will be super simple. I just come inside my main method, maintain one string str, which is equal to take testing only. Right, so I can see that A E I O U. So simple E I. So it should give you the count of two. So I just simple call this particular method. So how will you call it? But before that, what exactly I have to do? I have to maintain one counter over here initially. Integer counter is equal to let's say I'm maintaining at zero. So let's start a for loop and we will try to iterate this particular string. So let's see. And I'll do one thing that uh, let's see integer x is equal to zero and uh, x is less than what whatever the str dot up to the length of this particular string and then x plus plus because we have to keep checking one by one for each character right and then i'll be calling this particular method inside one if condition that if i simply call this method is vowel so is vowel i cannot call it right now so i have to make it static so that no need to create the object of this class and i now i simply call it <clears throat> and then I'll pass the character T. It means you give me the character over here. So in a string, we know there is a method str dot character at method and pass the index index inside the ball loop. We are using X over here. Okay. If this condition is matched, then what exactly I'll do this vowel count. Let's make it. It's a vowel C V count vowel count. I'll keep increasing it over here plus plus and that's it. Right. So once this entire for loop is done, and then after that, I'll just print this particular uh, V count over here. So let's see if I'm running this particular program, the output is coming right or not. So right click on it and run as Java application. So you can see there are two vowels are available in this particular thing. Okay, now I'll do one thing. I deliberately write A, E, I, O, U. So these are the five vowels are available. It should give you the count of five now. See, five is available like that. If I'm making it, let's see, A, E, I, O, U with capital letter also. See, 10. It means we are considering capital and a small letters both. So this is the right way of giving the answer at a time of interview. You have to consider that. So this is a very typical way of using with Java. Now let's talk about with Java 8 uh, streams. How will you do that? Right? So with Java 8 streams, 
what I'll do that uh, I'll just come directly inside my main method over here okay and I simply write system in Java 8 streams I'll be using one integer predicate interface over here see this okay and uh, creating a reference is equal to new integer predicate and then this is the anonymous inner type class I'm going to use it now so automatically what will happen although this is an interface and we know that we cannot create the object of interface but this is an anonymous inner class which will implement this particular uh, interface internally we are using it and it will override one test method and here we can write the check the bubbles logic over here so what exactly I'll be doing it whatever the return that we have written just copy and you simple paste it over here right and whatever the integer t that we are passing just pass it over here like that so this predicate that we have defined which is defining the total um, uh, which is defining the vowels over here now it will be super simple I'm just going to maintain one string for example let's see string test which is equal to I'm writing let's see Naveen automation labs I want to check how many vowels are available in this particular uh, string so what exactly I'm going to do that now I simply apply the dot characters remember dot cats method which will give you one integer stream and then I'll be using a filter over here and filter of what this filter we have created this particular integer predicate so I simply pass this uh, vowel over here and give me the count so simple write dot count and then dot count will give you what a long number so I simply store in a let's see long count which is equal to this and then I'll be printing it on the console like this so let's see in this particular string how many uh, vowels are available so I'll just run it and it's saying 10 is available so you can see that yeah see N A then double E then capital A then U so if you consider everything uh, capital and small letter in this particular string 10 is available Let's try with the AEIOU. It should give you five. So let's run it. See, it's giving you five over here. So this is another very good method in Java 8. You can simply create one integer predicate and then pass it to the uh, streaming pipeline and then you're good to go. Okay. Now, so there is one more we can do that. That is uh, Google Guava uh, library, not technique actually, Google uh, Guava library, we can use that. This is a very famous library provided by Google. So what we have to do, we have to first of all download its uh, dependency. So if you're using Maven project, you can add a dependency. If you're not using Maven project, you can download a jar file and then you can add it in your project. See, this is my simple Java project, not a, a Maven project. So I have to add the library over here. So I have to download the library first. So I'll go to Google and you simple search for Google Guava Maven go to the first link and click on this Google core libraries for Java click on the recent one this one and here you can add this particular dependency if you're using any Maven project I'm not using any Maven project right now so I'm going to click on this bundle which will give you one jar over here so if we click see this is a jar this jar is actually available in my system and then what you have to do you have to add this jar in your uh, class path of your project so simple right click on your project and uh, go to properties go to java build path click on library and see there are two modules are available module path and the class path so inside the class path you have to click on add external jar, jar and add that particular jar that you have downloaded the guava jar and you click on open it got added apply and close okay and for the safer side you simply go to project and clean the project once click on clean so it will build the project you can see the it's building the project third option we are using it using Google Guava meanwhile I'll do one thing I'll create a string over here for example let's take a new string that is the string st which is equal to I'm writing once again let's see this is a string 
and see it's very simple there is a class not available in jdk but in google guava library that class name is character matcher class see this character matcher class dot there is a method any of and you simple write that any of what any of this particular sequence a e i o u you can write it for the small letters let's see and then you give me the count in count in of what for this particular string st and that's it and this guy count n will give you the integer count i'll store in an integer count over here let's see this is my google's count is equal to this and uh, i simple print it on the console now <clears throat> that's it it's only two or three lines of code and let's see it is working or not so see it's giving you five over here right so let's try with the a e i o u once again it should give you five once again perfect and uh, let's try with the something else one more string let's see capital a only one letter i'm passing which is itself is equal so it's saying zero so because we are not matching with the over here right guys so we have to write let's see small a over here and then it should give you one so which is absolutely working fine if i'm making the combination with a e i -E o u considering the capital letters also and let's see then i'm making it capital a let's see what happens so it's giving you one it means you can combine the <coughs> combination with the small letters in the capital vowels over here let's try with the small a so it should give you two now see it's giving you two now so this is such a nice library that you can use it external library and uh, provided by google so you can trust and you can easily use this so these are the three basic solutions of using and getting the count of vowels in a particular string this is what you have to explain at a time of interview properly with a method and with a generic solution like that i hope it's clear now majority of the people they just give the answer like that people are expecting these days with the uh, java 8 and some other external libraries also so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you guys are learning from this channel and from this particular playlist so a lot of lot of good things are coming please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that uh, you will get a notification for the next video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all